Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun little collection video. Now, I'm sure you can guess from the title, we are going to be talking about all my little makeup sponges and they look so cute in my little, what are these called? A pot that carry jars? They all fit in here, but I can't get the lid on them because it'll smush them, but I still think it looks so cute displayed like this. So. If you are curious about my favorite sponges, just keep watching. Okay, so first let's talk about storage. I really like to store my makeup sponges in this little apothecary jar. When I first got it, it all fit in there, but now I can't get the lid on it because there's too many. Um, but this is so cute, and it looks so cute on camera. It looks like a fun little ice cream bowl. But if you're interested, let me just stop blabbering. First, I want to tell you guys how I clean my sponges. I like to use a Beauty Blender Solid. This is just so easy for me because all I do is get the sponge wet, and then I just rub it in some of the soap and then just wring it out and get all the makeup out. This is one I just washed, so let's talk about this. This is one of my newer favorites. This is by Flower Beauty and it's about $8 at Walmart. That's where you can buy Flower Beauty and it's so squishy and just probably one of the softest makeup sponges and so far I really like the shape. You can definitely bounce it and definitely like, you know, manipulate the size. So if you want to make it really thin, you can do that. And then there's this little flat edge if you want to bake with it. Usually I just use, you know, sponges for blending my makeup. And I'm just getting all the excess off because I feel like I have a lot of foundation on today. So I'm just buffing that in with this. So look at that, all that extra foundation just came off and I just cleaned this. But anyway, this is a really good one. This is definitely one of my favorites from the drugstore. Another drugstore favorite is the Eco Tool Sponge. Now Tati, I think is the one that really bought this forward and you guys I've used mine so much it's literally like falling apart but I don't need a replacement yet I'm just gonna keep using it and it actually comes in a little set like this and there's so little cute ones but this one actually expands quite a bit when it's wet this one's a little bit more tough this one is definitely soft great for foundation a lot of my sponges I really just exclusively use for foundation and concealer I don't usually put like powder on with these and stuff like that I haven't quite gotten around to practicing that yet but these are again another awesome set from the drugstore and these are nine dollars for two another favorite from the drugstore is this real technique sponge they have a few different ones but i really like this one at first i didn't understand how to use these honestly with all beauty sponges guys i would recommend wetting them i wouldn't recommend using one of these dry because it's a real pain in the ass and they just work so much better at blending once they're wet so this is another good one by Real Techniques. I think it's about four or five dollars if you buy a single, or if you buy a double, they're like eight ninety nine. So they're really, really affordable. So definitely check this out. The sponge that started it all is the Beauty Blender. This is the nude Beauty Blender. This one looks so gross and dirty, but yeah, this is my nude one, and I haven't actually used this in a while because I've been finding so many good drugstore ones. If you're gonna go for the Beauty Blenders, definitely go with the nude, or like I've heard the black one is really good. I haven't used that one personally, but this is the red one, and it honestly sucks. Like I picked this up during the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year because they had a deal where you could get a set of two, and I'm honestly scared to use this one because this the red ran for days like I was wringing red like dye out of these forever so I haven't even used this one because I feel like it's gonna be a mess I also have a pink one again I just don't need to use beauty blenders anymore because I like all the drugstore ones and these are like 20 bucks a sponge I'm literally holding $80 in my hand isn't that sad <laughs> like I don't understand people that swear by beauty blenders because they're good don't get me wrong they're really good sponges but they're not like $20 good like $20 don't buy any of these good you know so that's just my thoughts on that I also did get these mini ones from the makeup by Mario masterclass when I went they were in my goodie bag and these are so hard to like sit there and like do anything with so I rarely ever use those so again I would say save your money on the beauty blenders they were definitely like an innovative product when they first came out and I think the technology is patented but the drugstore has come out with so many good ones that you really don't need to worry about having the beauty blender you know what I mean this is another beauty blender I don't think I've used this one either it's pretty purple color I'm just hoarding the beauty blenders. If there's ever an apocalypse and you guys need a beauty blender, come to my house because apparently I just have a stockpile of them. This is the L'Oreal Contour Sponge. I picked this up probably from like Walmart, but I don't think I've ever used this because it feels really hard. I want to try it out, but 
I don't really cream contour, so I'll probably just end up using this again as a foundation sponge, but I do really like the L'Oreal foundation sponge, so if you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. Casey Holmes was raving about this, which is why I picked it up, and this is so affordable. It's like $7.99 or $6.99 at Walmart, and it is an amazing beauty sponge, so if you're looking for another really good alternate to the beauty blender, I would totally recommend the L'Oreal sponge. Um, another one that I haven't broken into is this one, and this is a Sephora sponge. This is an awkward shape, but I think it'd be so good for concealer because it has that nice pointy edge to it, so watch out. Once I try that out, I will update you guys. Um, as far as sponges, I did didn't like. I really don't like this one by Morphe. I think I got this in a Morphe Monthly Brush Club like package, so I didn't purchase this one myself. I know Jaclyn Hill raves about the red one. I can't imagine that they're different, like that different. I wasn't impressed with this, but she seems to really like the red one, so maybe someday I'll buy that, but I just feel like there's so many good drugstore ones. I can't like bring myself to pay like Morphe shipping and buy a sponge, plus they're always sold out, so I haven't been able to get my hands on one yet, but yeah, this is what uh, it looks like and I, I don't really like it. It's not very squishy and it's just really hard to work with. Here's another L'Oreal sponge. This one is supposed to be their concealer sponge. I really don't like the shape of this. It's really hard to like hold and like maneuver when you're using it and I don't know. I just like my big fluffy sponges. I feel like I can shrink them to get to the nooks and crannies whereas if you have a small one like this it's really hard to use it for anything so that just kind of sits there and adds color and pizzazz to my collection. Here's a real technique one I didn't like. I bought it obviously because it's white and marble looking which is really pretty but this is like a nine dollar sponge. I would honestly pass on this. Live Loves or Makeup loves this sponge but I think this is such a shitty sponge because it's like spiky and it's really hard to get this like because it's so fat even though it has a thin point. It's really hard to get like those hard to reach spots with this and then this is like such a odd shape like it doesn't really buff well. I prefer my sponges to be more rounded because I can really like buff. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys but trust me it makes sense to me in my head so just nod when I explain something just not okay and then the last one I want to show you guys is this this is the very Mona cake and bake sponge I don't know why I haven't used this yet because I've heard so many good things about this people are buying like backups and backups of this and I'm still holding on to my first one so I'm gonna have to make an effort to use this because I'm showing it to you guys in my collection video and I haven't touched it but this is supposed to be really good for under eye concealer as well as baking and contouring and this is pretty affordable you can get it on sephora.com for like 14 bucks so yeah i think it's a really cool sponge and i honestly can't wait to use it okay guys i hope you enjoyed my little beauty blender beauty sponge collection if you have any questions on any of the sponges that i mentioned go ahead and leave me a comment down below also again don't forget to subscribe to my channel so subscribe to my channel subscribe subscribe i don't know why i try to sing laura lee's song like i don't even know the words <laughs> But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you guys have a great week as well. Bye.